At the bottom of Hoyo Negro, which is a large collapsed chamber inside an underwater cave, lie the bones of a girl, 16-year-old girl, and a gompathir. We have determined that that girl is one of the earliest human skeletons in the Americas. We've been able to determine using radiocarbon dating of tooth enamel and uranium thorium dating of calcium carbonate crystals that formed on the bone after the bone came to rest on the bottom of the cave, uh, that Naya died between 12,000 and 13,000 years ago. Hoyo Negro is going to tell us about the human life, animal life, and plant life of Ice Age Central America. It's a time capsule that is absolutely unequaled. As we were swimming around all the southern we start finding bones. We go a little bit up and we look and then there's this human skull. It's upside down, you know, beautiful teeth kind of pointing up and then and you have the eye socket. I mean, this is, we're always like, okay, this is the discovery of, of our lifetime. It's not gonna get any better than, than this. We were able to not only determine Naya's age, but we also determined her genetics. From what we have found in multiple laboratories, Naya's origin is Asian. She comes from the same group of people who lived in what's called Beringia. That's a connection of uh, Alaska and Eastern Siberia. But in both those regions, you have a high level incidence of what appears to be interpersonal violence. It's extremely high in the earliest Paleo-Americans. See, look at that. Oh, look at that. Exactly. Those are florets. That's, a, that's perfect. I was very strongly hoping that we would have crystals inside the skull because those crystals have tremendous information potential for us. And in fact, they are there and their, form, their, their shape shows me they formed in place. They didn't fall in from someplace else. They actually formed in there. They're spikes sticking up. There she is. Wow, she's we now have right. Naya's skull and Naya has a complete skull. And from that complete skull, we are going to reconstruct her face. And so we're going to be looking on the face of the earliest American that we know of. Oh, wow. From the genetics, both from ancient bones and from modern populations. The way they look is, whereas uh, modern Native Americans tend to have large, broad faces, the Paleo-Americans tend to have forward projecting faces. And the question has been raised, um, why are they different? And Naya is helping to answer that question.